And those who are with us, get into the line and keep behind the truck. The line is beautiful. The line is orderly. Let's keep it that way. It's lovely. Come go with me to that land. Come go with me to that land. They are formed in five or six lines marching in the center of the street. However, when requested, come go with me to that land. Public demonstration, as a means of effecting social change, has become a familiar feature of American life in the 1960s, and a major problem for the police. But policemen have been handling this kind of thing for generations. In fact, the right to peaceful assembly is as old as the Constitution itself. Throughout our history, people of every social, political, and religious persuasion have used public assembly as a means of winning public support. Violence has also been a part of our social history. Police action is, of course, only one factor in determining how much violence accompanies these demonstrations. But it is the duty of the police to maintain order and to protect all factions in their right to speak out, whatever an officer's own private beliefs. Working with organized demonstrations is the surest way to reduce the likelihood of spontaneous violence. In general, people are more likely to resort to violence when they feel they have no other way to make their views known.